Hello and again and welcome to some more examples of analytical geometry uh, circles. So in this one I am going to have a look at uh, slightly more complex examples but they're still not very difficult. Okay our first question asks us to find the center and the radius of a circle with that a diameter that has end points and then it gives us the two end points for the diameter. Now here if we have the endpoints for the diameter, let's just draw us a rough sketch. It doesn't even have to be um, perfect, uh, and that is just not pretty. So let me just get a prettier way of drawing. Um, okay, that one will work. Okay. So there we go. And we are given the d a diameter, so there's a circle, we are given a diameter. What we know about the diameter are the two uh, um, points, these two points here. We know this one is, one is negative 5,3. Again, it doesn't matter that they are uh, correct, plotted, at l as long as I put the information on there. So we have this information. In order to find the center, we just need to find a diameter means it passes through the center and the midpoint between these two points would be the center of the circle okay the next thing is that, that if I then want the radius I either need to find the, the distance between the midpoint and one of these two points or just half the distance between these two points because this is the diameter so it's really not difficult so the center is di simply the midpoint between these two points we need the midpoint formula, which is basically the average between the x values and the average between the y values. The average between negative 5 and 2 is negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 3 and a half. No, sorry, negative 3 over 2, which is negative 1 and a half. The average between 3 and 3 is 3. Okay, so 3 plus 3 is 6 divided by 2. So there is my center. Now, which is interesting, what I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Uh, you, you, you could have thought about it. But these two points are two points that's vertically on top of each other. Okay, they've got, the, no, I lie. They're horizontally. They're perfectly horizontal because their Y values are the same. Which means if they have the same Y value, it means that the reading on the horizontal axis is the same. That can only be true if this is, in fact, a horizontal line. So let's do that. This is a horizontal line. Okay, now what, what makes that useful in this question, and I didn't notice it before I, when I wrote down the question, is that the, horiz the, the distance is now very easy to determine because the distance is simply from negative 5 to positive 2. That's a distance of 7. 5 units to 0 and 2 more units to get to 2. That's a distance of 0. So the diameter is 7, which means the radius is 7 over 2, 3 and a half. Okay, or you can just keep it as 7 over 2. That's that's it. Okay, but let's say you did not recognize that. Still no problem. All we could have done is taken the distance formula. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 5 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 3, negative is 3 minus 3 squared, and here you see this is going to be 0. And this is going to be negative 7 squared, which is 49. So we've got the square root of 49, which is simply 7. There we get the diameter again. If you were to use this point and one of these other two points, you would just get exactly half of that anyways. So this is the diameter. Again, it then just follows that the radius is half of that. Excellent. Let's go to the next point. Find the equation of a circle that has a center, so they give us the center, that is tangent to the y-axis in the form, and they just give us the format in which they want the equation of the circle, which um, Similar to ours, this one, we just use a P and a Q and an R, and this one uses other values, but that's fine. So let's go ahead, find the equation of the circle that has a center there and is tangent to the y-axis. So what do they mean? Well, let me draw you a circle that is tangent to the y-axis, and you will get a clue of what they are talking about. So here's a circle. Tangent means just touching, 
I'm sure you know that. But tangent means just touching. So we've got uh, the y-axis just touching our circle and then they give me a and that's the only information I really need in this question don't you don't need to go and draw the horizontal axis if you do draw the horizontal axis just know it it doesn't matter where you draw it okay um, all we're going to put in is this point the center is negative 5 comma 2 and we're asked to find the equation of the circle so in the circle we've got y uh, x minus p squared plus y minus q squared is equal to r squared where p and q is the center of the circle so we've got that so we have x minus minus is positive 5 squared plus y minus q so that's minus 2 in this case squared is equal to r squared where r is the radius so is it possible for us to find the radius of the circle now why was it important to know that this equation is tangent to the y-axis and it's really simple because if we know that it is tangent and we connect a horizontal line there you might know that but this is this is a 90 degree angle but the point being is that we can if this is tangent if that it's just touching that point then we know that this point lies on the circle now what is that point that point is the point it's got the say same y value as that point that's what we saw here it is a point that's directly horizontal with the center so it will have the same y value this y value will be 2 so what will this x value be so in other words this coordinate this coordinate is 2 for x uh, sorry uh, 2 for y 0 for x because it's on the on the y axis so it's 0 for x and 2 for y and this one is negative 5 for x and mine is okay so my tangent line is on the wrong side <laughs> I'm sorry okay that that might be slight it, well it doesn't change anything in the question uh, but it's supposed to be all on this side okay so in that case it should have been on that side okay so this is the point 0 for x and 2 for y again it wouldn't have made a problem if you did it on the wrong side just realize oh wait I went in the wrong direction to get to negative 5 so here I'm at 0 and there I'm at negative 5 so this distance that's my point that's what I'm trying to say is this distance is 5 it doesn't matter from which side you're going this distance is 5 in other words the distance from the center to some point on the circle the shortest distance between those two points is 5 I don't you could if you want to you could substitute this point in here but it's easier than that you this is literally that distance so in other words r is equal to 5 which means my equation is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 5 squared remember that students keep on forgetting that I don't know why okay the radius the value that you get here is not the radius it's the radius that has been squared so in other words in our case it would be 25 or you can leave it like this it shouldn't be wrong thank you very much for watching the next couple of videos we are looking um, at um, at some examples where we are actually finding the center given the radius in a different format sorry the, the equation of the circle in a different format and we must find the center and the radius uh, see you in those videos bye